Hi everyone, this is Pam with Paper Craft Creations. Um, I told y'all before my next card would probably be a birthday card because my daughter's having a birthday or Christmas cards. But unfortunately my next card is a sympathy card. A lady I've known for about 40 years uh, passed away from COVID a week or so ago. So I'm sending them a COVID, um, I mean a sympathy card. And I'm so sorry to hear about that loss. But um, anyway, this is kind of a sample um, of how I, of the card I'm going to make. I like to do a preview so there's things in this card that I'm going to be changing. But this is kind of uh, similar to what I'm thinking about. And I got the idea from Linda Dalkey. Um, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from a YouTube video that I had watched. And it's called a Mist Landscape Card. And she got the idea from Pinterest, and she um, found um, a picture similar to this that she um, had printed off of Pinterest that she based her card on. Um, I don't have all the same stamps and everything that she used, but what I'm using is I'm using these tree stamps right here from the Snowfront Stampin' Up! Um, stamp set. I'm not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm not affiliated with Stampin' Up! I just use their products and um, this may be a retired stamp set, I'm not sure. And then for the grass at the bottom, the only thing I'm doing using on from this stamp is this little grass from the bottom. And it's a Nature's Beauty stamp set and again it's a Stampin' Up! Um, it's a Stampin' Up! stamp set. And then uh, for the um, greeting I'm going to use this with deepest sympathy um, stamp and then uh, may you find peace and comfort in this difficult time and know that you are loved and then for my clouds I have a Simon Hurley stencil and I'm going to use this right here for my clouds and then I'm going to use this right here for my grass and then also for my grass I'm going to use um, this little bit right here that I was telling y'all about so anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get this started and uh, I'll show y'all what I'm going to do. Thank you. Um, as you'll notice on this card, I kind of did the trees random. Uh, but I was noticing where the artist that he kind of did his uh, man or woman, I'm not sure. But I was noticing how he did his trees straight and how that he went down. And then he's got his random trees in the center. So I think I'm going to try that. And for that, I'm going to use um, this larger stamp here. And then in this one, I did add some smaller trees. And so um, I've got the smaller trees. So I'm probably going to do that as well. But I'm going to start out um, trying to kind of mimic what he did here. And then I forgot to tell y'all, but um, I'm using the the Nana Navy stamp pad and it's also a uh, Stampin' Up! classic Stampin' pad and I'm not sure if they still have this available or not and um, the lady that I'm uh, getting my idea from she used a uh, Stampin' Up! she used the um, classic white st Whisper White Stampin' pad but I don't have that but I do have some Stampin' Up! Um, Whisper White reinker. So what I'll do is, like I did in this, is I put the re-inker in here and then I use my water brush and water and um, that's how I created the mist that I had in this other one. What did I do with it? Um, that I had in this other one where I tried to kind of create that mist that you see going, you know, right through here. So anyway, um, those are some items I forgot to tell you about, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on my stamping and um, get that stamped, and I'll come back in a minute and kind of show y'all what I've done. Okay, I've got my two smaller stamps um, put on my um, acrylic block. Now, I was going to show you I've got the smaller one on this side, and I've got the little bit larger one on this side, so you can use both sides of your acrylic block. So I just wanted to tell you that to keep that in mind. That way you don't have to buy gobs of acrylic blocks. You can buy one or two and that should should take care of your stamping. Be back in a moment. 
I just put it down again and stamped a second generation. Then I also did a third generation, so um, it looks like this is in the front, and this is a little bit further back, and this is even back further. And I did that kind of based on here. Um, I've got the trees kind of going straight across like they've got it here. And then I've brought these right here down a little bit, like, or actually I've come over here and I've, I've done where it looks like this one here, this one's a little bit lighter and this one's even a little bit lighter. So that's kind of what I've based that on. So um, now, that I, now that I've stamped that, then I'm gonna go ahead and create my mist and I'll come back and, well, I'll show y'all that in a minute. Thank you. Okay, what I've done is I've put this reinker in this well here and I've put a little bit of water in here. Um, this reinker is real, is real thick and so I'll use this water to thin, make this thinner, and then I'm just going to watercolor the paint over um, the picture like I've done here, so it kind of looks like it's in a mist. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, this is kind of what I've got so far, as people sometimes say it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but that's where I put the... What I've tried to do is I've tried to put the white area, like you see in this picture. Of course, they've got the trees a little bit more prominent, but I've tried to put the white area of the mist right in here. So I've come in here with my white ink, and I've put it right there. And then I've put it covering my trees and all. So I'm going to go and add a few smaller trees in here, and then, um, I'll come, and then I'm going to put the mist, the white paint on that to kind of put those in a mist and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like and hopefully it'll turn out. If it don't, I'll just get another piece of paper and I'll start again. Okay, thank you and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, this is what I've got so far and um, I don't know if it looks like mist or, mist, mist or not. Like I said before, it probably kind of looks like a hot mess. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this aside and let it dry. And I think I'm also going to um, go ahead and take a separate sheet and go ahead and put some grass along the bottom like I've got on this one and put some clouds on the top. And then I may go ahead and put my trees again and try that one more time and um, see if I like that any better. And I'll come back and get, get I'll show you when I get this part done. Matter of fact, I'll um, go ahead and show you what I've got is I've... Um, I've got blending brushes, and these are just cheap Dollar Tree, you know, Dollar Tree's a dollar, um, ch cheap Dollar Tree makeup brushes that I use for my sponging, and um, for the dark green, I felt like I need a dark green uh, for my grass, so for the dark green, I've got the stamping spot from Stampin' Up! called Mossy Meadow, and it is a real deep dark green, and this ink pad's pretty wet, and uh, so what I'll need to do is I'll take a piece of paper and put behind my card and then when I do that, um, that will protect my work surface here. So, um, and then what you do is you take your, you take your, my, that's pretty wet, you take your, um, you take your stencil and you put your stencil at the bottom of the cardstock here. I'm not going to put it that far, probably about that far down. And then I'll put the, the ink on there with my brush and then I'll bring it around over here and put the ink down right there. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, when you do ink blending, you um, take your, you take your, your brush and you put it on your ink pad here and then don't ever take it directly to your card because as you can see I've got some really dark um, on my my scratch paper here and then I've got some lighter images and I always try to start off lighter because if you start off real dark then you can't take it off but if you start off light you can always go on top of it and go do a little bit more so all you do is you just take your brush and you just go along your stencil here and um, put the, the ink along the stencil and, as you, and then just keep it down with this one hand and then just take it um, to the ink pad again 
and then like I say, um, start always start at the bottom here, and then go go up to the top because, like I say, you can put a whole bunch on at one time, but you can't take it off, and that means you'll have to start all over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, this inked on here, and then I'll be back in a minute, and I'll show you the result. Okay, I've got that um, I've got that stenciled on the bottom down there, and I know this part right here is a little bit taller, and this part's a little bit lower. But out in the desert, or out in the forest, we're not in the desert here, but out in the forest, you know your grass is gonna be different lengths. And um, what you do is, you can see I've got the ink on the stencil right here, and I'm gonna take my um, my um, stamp cleaner. I dropped it in the floor. I'm going to take my stamp cleaner and I'm just going to um, take it and spray it along the bottom of my stencil here and just take a microfiber cloth and just wipe that off and then that way you have a you have a clean stencil for when you go to use it again next time and then also what I do is I've got quite a bit of green in my brush and I um, I take it and try to get as much of it off as I can on this rag and then I take the stamp cleaner and like I say it's just a dollar brush so this shouldn't hurt I've used done this before and I just take the um, brush and put the stamp cleaner on there as you can see it comes off quite a bit with the stamp cleaner and I just um, take the brush and put the stamp cleaner on there then I just clean it as best as I can and then before I use it again I'll also um, put it back on see when you go again here you can see a little bit of green but you can't see as much but um, you can also take and put some more stamp cleaner on there and just clean the brush as good as you can uh, those bristles pretty good this is even though it's just a dollar brush it is a good brush and it does a good job as far as ink blending is concerned so um I'm continuing to work on my card this is the card I did yesterday and um you can see here that I put the white um the white I guess you call it paint the white ink refill over the trees and you can see it kind of makes it look misty and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and add the grass underneath here and add my clouds and then I'll add um, my sentiment here um, and then I'm also gonna finish this one up that I worked on yesterday it has dried now and um, I'm gonna also um, add the mist in here and see what I think about both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of those done and then I'll come back and show you what they look like and I'll get the cards finished up. So I um, just wanted to show you how they looked after they dried and uh, then I'll finish them up and bring them back and show them to you again. Thank you. Okay, this is um, kind of what I finished up similar to what I had before on the original one and then this one is the one I finished up today and I did the clouds much softer up here in the background and then I've got to let this right here dry then I added the grass down on the bottom a little bit I know that the original artist didn't have grass but um, I can't really achieve what he has achieved or she has achieved here so I just decided to kind of um, add some grass and add some clouds. He does have clouds kind of in the top, but um, I'm not uh, as good as, I'm not, my art, artistry is not quite as good as his, and I rely on stamps to help me with all that, but I do think that it looks like a trees that are in the midst here. So um, that's kind of what I have, and I'm going to go ahead and put it onto a card. I told y'all earlier that I was going to do um, this sympathy right here with deepest sympathy but um, I think I'm I don't think I'm going to use this I'm going to stamp it and see what I think about it but I was just thinking that 
I went to my computer and I typed with deepest sympathy and I think I'm just going to um, cut this out simply and then um, I wrote you see her smiles you see her smile through the midst you hear her voice through your tears you had many good years together and God called her home we don't know the reason why but so aware that God knows best I'm so sorry to hear of your loss in Sandra's passing please know you've been on my heart and in my prayers and will continue to be so prayers for comfort and peace love to all so this will be on the outside with deepest sympathy I don't know if I'm gonna use this one or the larger one this may be too big to go in the card I'll see but if not I'll just reduce it down but I just wanted to do something a little bit more personal and then also something that went with the midst the mist here so anyway that's kind of um looks like that will fit because I'm gonna probably put a background around it and time I get through I'll, it probably will work and then I may just put a tree I may stamp a tree some trees right in here so anyway that's kind of what I'm thinking and um, I'll get it all finished up and bring it back and let y'all see the finished product hi everyone this is Pam again um, I was just going to show you I cut the um, I think I did show you earlier I, I cut the um, the border to where we're gonna put the card I think that blue looks real pretty and I die cut out the center of the card because it's going to glue onto this card here and that way um, I can save some paper plus I can um, do a pretty little bookmark or a tag with this so um, just wanted to show you that and then I'll come back and show you the completed um, sympathy card hi again everyone um, here is the finished card I put with deepest sympathy at the top and then I put the blue border around the greeting and then also around the um, the um, landscape um, it's not a painting but the landscape um, design of the trees in the midst and then here's the inside of the card with a little poem that I wrote um, with the trees um, stamped in there again so anyway um, I hope you like the card I sure do appreciate y'all watching my video and um, I hope y'all learned a little bit about card making and I'd sure appreciate it if y'all would um, uh, hit the subscribe button and like my channel and because um, if you hit subscribe and hit like that helps my channel a lot and again I sure appreciate y'all watching and I hope you have a great day thank you bye